one that's probably the big one um, so we got a few more details on this uh, this was Wednesday about 222 is when that call came in a.m. Uh, early morning so we had uh, quite a few people this is in the 1300 block of South Cleveland Avenue and we had quite a few people that were at an apartment um, as these happened, there was something happened. We're not exactly sure what that was, but there was an argument that happened. Inside the apartment, our suspect, Jory Davis, ended up pointing a gun at the victim, uh, a woman. She ended up calling a friend and said she wanted a ride, and he drove over to the lot or drove over to that apartment to pick her up. Um, and she went outside to meet him. There was a few people outside. We're not really sure about the exact number, but uh, the suspect, Jory, uh, the woman, uh, Larissa, was out there, and then uh, Jeremy Davis, which is Jory's brother, was out there as well. Initially, once uh, the victim, our second victim, the guy, parked his car, Jeremy jumped in the passenger seat. There were some words that were exchanged, and then the victim, the female, ended up pulling Jeremy out to get in the car so they could leave. Once that happened, Jeremy started punching the woman. Um, Jory was outside the driver's door, and he had a gun. He was pointing it at the, the driver. Uh, the, while all this was going on, Jeremy ended up yelling to Jory to shoot him, uh, something to that effect. The driver started, he backed up, and he started to drive away, and Jory started shooting at the car. Uh, we believe it was maybe hit a couple of times. We're not exactly sure of that number. Uh, Jory, the way he drove in that apartment complex was a dead end, so he had to turn around and drive past the suspects again. So once he drove past them, they started shooting, or Jory started shooting some more. Uh, they ended up getting out of that apartment complex, and the driver realized he, he had been hit. We're not sure if he was shot the first time or the second time. That's a little bit unclear, but once they got out of there, he realized he had been shot. Uh, those two people ended up calling police as they were driving to the hospital, and uh, they kind of obviously filled officers in on what happened. Uh, the victim, the male victim, the driver was hit a couple of times, non-life-threatening injuries, but he was taken uh, into surgery. Um, so once we had all those details, it was a matter of obviously finding people. Um, about 2.50 a.m., uh, we had our street crimes officers found Jory and Larissa. They were outside an apartment in the 1200 block of South Blaine Avenue. Uh, La Larissa had the handgun on her. She was trying to conceal it in her uh, waistband. Uh, both of them had a small amount of meth with them. Uh, back at the apartment complex where the shooting took place, that's where they found Jeremy. Apparently he just walked back into that apartment and was just hanging out there. So. Uh, Jory was arrested. He's 24 from Flandreau. He, he was arrested for aggravated assault, possession of a firearm while intoxicated, discharge of a firearm at a vehicle, possession of stolen property, possession of a firearm by a felon, uh, possession of controlled substance, and paraphernalia. Uh, the gun, I forgot that one part. The gun was found to be stolen that uh, was reported on November 17th. That was uh, It was inside a house. It was locked up. Uh, somebody broke into that house and stole the gun uh, from Sioux Falls. So uh, it was stolen locally. There was no suspects um, in that burglary at that time. So we're not sure exactly how they came into possession of it, if they uh, had anything to do with that burglary or if they got it from somebody else. Uh, Larissa, she's 24 from Sioux Falls, uh, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of stolen property, possession of a loaded firearm while intoxicated, possession of controlled substance, and paraphernalia. The press release said aggravated assault, but that was, uh, I, I'll call it a typo, I guess. There was no aggravated assault charge on that. Uh, Jeremy, oh yeah, Larissa is L-A-R-I-S-S-A. -S -S uh, last name is R-E-D-E-R-T-H. Uh, Jeremy Davis, he's 28 from Sioux Falls. His two charges were aggravated assault and simple assault. The aggravated assault is him encouraging Jory to shoot the driver and the simple assault from punching the woman passenger. 
Uh, Jeremy, uh, J-E-R-E-M-Y, Davis, D-A-V-I-S. Jory is J-O-R-E-Y. The names are all in the press release, so they're all accurate. So, so where and why do you place this? Uh, yeah, uh, let me see if I can find that. Um, just in the torso on the left side. I, I don't have the exact areas. Do you need to know how many shots this target pulled? No. No depths? I mean, there were two bodies, so... Right, yeah, no, we don't have any estimate of how many gunshots there were. I didn't see anything. I, there's reports that are still coming in, um, but I didn't hear of any other damage other than the vehicle. The vehicle had several bullet holes in it and some broken windows from bullets, um, but I don't know. Uh, I didn't, I guess I'll just leave it at that. I didn't hear of any other damage that was done. How many reports came in about gunshots? That I don't know. Um... I'd say at least three, um, two other people that heard the gunshots and then the victims when they called. What were the victims' ages? Let's see, the, the driver, <coughs> he is 48 from Sioux Falls and the woman, is 32 from Flandreau. And the woman did make it into the car after she called and it arrived. She did make it into the car, but she was in probably riding the passenger seat while they were trying to drive away and go get her car back. Yep. So what happened was Jeremy um, got into the passenger seat. The two women were able to get the woman out. Yeah, so the once the driver went, he arrived, he parked, and then Jeremy uh, hopped in the passenger seat. I'm not sure what that conversation was, if he was talking or if there was threats or that, I guess I don't know. But he was sitting in the passenger seat when the woman got there. Uh, she was telling him basically to get out, and he wasn't getting out, so she pulled him out and then got in the passenger seat. And then he ended up he punching her. He started punching her. He was trying to reach past her then after that and try to punch the driver. Okay, so she um, was back. She was in the car when that happened. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. And then kind of closed the door, kind of tried to right. get shots. Yep. Right. Went into that. Yep. Okay. Okay. That was Sorry for any confusion. You're good. Okay. Uh, good on that one.